All right, there's one more dissident uh, back again doing the Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. Resident Evil 2. He's going to announce that to us again, as if we were suddenly unclear on which game we were playing. Well, we're loading, so we probably... Well, we probably just hit the wrong thing. Well, yep. Yeah. You don't get any pictures here, apparently. In the midst of the I teen virus twice, outbreak in Raccoon City, Maybe it's my Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G virus. However... However? Oh. Holy Ada! shit, there is pictures. Just gave me black screen for no reason. Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. No, there were other a people. A girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. And the she came cast to uncover the, the mysterious games. circumstances of her brother's disappearance. And Jill and Chris Redfield, a member of and, the uh, Stars Alpha kind of Team. Appears in there too. Only oh, now her mission has become quite simple: basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. It's slightly more badass than the other intro. All right. It's a motorcycle. That awkward, stiff pose. How come Raccoon City's intro sign looks like it's from Gambling Town? So now we find out what was going on with Claire, I guess. It's the same street. What are the odds? And we got a butt shot there for a good reason. I'm finally here. She doesn't seem the least bit perturbed at the fact that there's no one here. Oh, it's this guy again. I wonder if he's gonna ask why the guy bit him. This guy's on the maniac! Why'd he bite me? <laughs> what a dumb line. Uh, I think it's kind of weird that you have to watch this. At least they're giving you some of this in a different scenario. Hello. Donuts or stun odd. Is anyone here? Hello. Even though there's a little bit of an audio sync problem, her footsteps don't match up to her feet anyway. Uh, hello. Someone's eating somebody. Oh, he's just happy to see you. Don't worry. Look. I'm He's sorry I bothered you, okay? By the way, I've got something to say don't on that. Come so. any closer. Are you listening? Did, did anyone else notice that she's actually got a knife strapped to her vest? Chris actually wears a similar knife, but she's not a member of a cop team. She's a college student. I want to go to her college. Hey, this looks familiar. Wait! Don't shoot! Get down! Gotta shoot him in the head, you can't Leon. stay out here. Head to the police station. It'll be a lot safer. Oh, right. They don't move very quickly. There! You've seen all this block a lot. Okay. Hey, remember, safety is important. What's we don't going seem to have on? as much of a I arrived in town. And the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. He won't even let You're you finish cop, your sentences. Right? Yeah, first day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. I already know that, of course. Does he feel the need to change her? Like, I, I suppose... Hey, could you open the glove box? There's sure. a gun inside. There's a gun inside. She just doesn't Better sound take very impressed with it. And then... BAM! No! It's like I've never seen this before for some reason. I still love that part. You okay? Still in one piece.
infection there, that man turned in less than... Claire! Well, three minutes Leon, according to my timer on the recording here. Head to the station. I'll meet you there. Interesting to note. Could be okay. because it's uh, received through the vector of another uh, infected person instead of straight uh, through the wall, like most people were getting it there. Could be because it serves the game a lot more interestingly to split up the characters. At the same time. At the same place. Same bat time, same bat channel. You have to survive this nightmare to know the true end. And you'll notice we're now in a different area. Uh, it's not a whole lot more interesting, although we still get some lovely 2D rendered backgrounds. There's a hot dog cart here. Uh, the vendor is probably dead. There are hot dogs and mustard all over the floor. Uh, I actually don't remember what to do here. I haven't played this part in a while. I'm gonna open the door. There we go. I gave a shot uh, at playing Claire's ace in area. Oh, he's still on the other side of that door. He's not too interested in me, it looks like. But uh, we're still gonna go through this door. It's locked. Alright. I gave a shot at Claire's ace in area just to test out the camera. I'm still trying to find a way that uh, properly sets up the whole uh, audio sync thing. Because I used to have it until I upgraded to Windows 7. But what are you gonna do, you know? Probably that door over there. These zombies are not showing a whole lot of initiative. Anyway, Claire's A scenario. Why do you let me get off track like this? And uh, I noticed as soon as I went into the gun shop, the guy with the, uh, the Claire's dialogue is exactly the same as uh, Leon's. He uses the same words. But the guy, the other guy, says, talks like a little bit more condescending. He says, Oh, I didn't see you there, babe. And then he calls her Darlin', and then he calls her Girly. It's a little condescending there. Uh, you know what? We don't need to save right yet. I'll take the ammo, though. Uh, Claire's handgun, I think, shoots a little faster. What the crap? Oh. Yeah, I think they just broke in through that gate in the front there. I thought they'd broken in here. <laughs> he calls it Dar Baby? Babe? And then Darlin, and then Gurley, and it sounded, and then he's just, don't worry about a thing, but Gurley, I, I've got a close eye on things. Oh, I thought you were further away. So evidently, he just wants to hit on Claire. Poker zombie, I guess, uh, oh wait, do I still have auto room turned on? Yeah, I did good. Because when I was playing through the demo test there, I didn't, I didn't. It wasn't really all that irritating, because as long as I don't have dogs, it's, oh, wait, here we go, a cutscene. Oh, right. Remember that helicopter we saw crashed. Hey! Get over here! Hurry! I can't just there now! I'll drop you on a rubber ladder! Grab on to it! Come on! Just a little more! How do you not notice that? Yeah. Get off me! On the other hand, this guy actually makes a reasonable Stay decision. Back. Don't come any closer! He shoots the crap out of him! Stay back! Apparently he misses, but... And then he makes the brilliant decision of shooting the helicopter. Then conveniently crashes right into all three of them. Fun. So that's why the rope is on fire when we got there. Isn't that interesting that they kind of tied the uh, scenario together? And Claire just, of course, stood there and watched. What a bitch. Not that I suppose she could have done much. She's got like a handgun, a lockpick, a knife, and some ink ribbons. For all the good they're gonna do. Uh, I think we come back later and that's put out. Because of Leon, of course. And because they couldn't have Claire interfere because then it'd have to make two scenes. Oh, first health we got here, that's always nice. It looks like Leon's already been here because the, uh, the crows have already come through. Oh, wait. Well, I guess that's why you didn't have any bullets when I checked him as Leon. See what's over here in the flaming wreck hallway. Holy shit! Yeah, so apparently this scenario is a lot more challenging. The drop in freaking liquors on us already. We're gonna go around this way because I don't want to deal with that fucker right now. I've got a pistol. I 
I don't even know how well the pistols work on those guys. Anyway, Claire doesn't get all the same guns as Leon does. He, she actually doesn't get most of the same guns. Oh wait, we're running into uh, the end of the time here, the end of the video, sort of. I'm gonna take a break here and we'll be right back. Click on the next thing and uh, you'll see me in a few seconds.